what is intuition how to develop that um intuition i, I start with a definition uh Eric Byrne worked a lot of intuition, as you know, and the transactional analysis was developed out of studies on intuition. But Eric Byrne was not the first one. Also, Aristoteles uh, wrote about intuition. <clears throat> I do not go into the history of all that, but uh, intuition is a judgment about reality. Yeah. Uh, and most of this judgment, I do not know what, what is the content of my judgment. <laughs> but I act, I still act on it. <laughs> and usually we do not know how we know we come to this judgment about reality. <laughs> and I guess... Uh, uh, you, usually we do we we act on reality on such intuitive judgments mm -hmm. to up to 90 percent mm. the problem is with these judgments they are not good only because they are intuitive because there is a, there are all are also mistaken intuitions and mm. conventional intuitions mm. dogmatic intuitions and, but they feel as plausible as mature intuitions. Mm. And this is why in our trainings groups, we try to make, to make people aware of their intuitions, of their embedded intuitions they already are acting on. Mm. Mm. For example, if you give an advice to somebody, mm. Mm. you ask the question, what is your implicit intuitive judgment of what this person lacks or needs that you give this advice? Mm -hmm. And so I'm not against advising. What some, sometimes is recommended as a, as, as a, a solution. No, it's okay to give advices. Sometimes this is the easiest and best thing to do, but you should not give unconscious advices. If you give an advice, you ask yourself, what is the intuition behind? And let's talk about this intuition, whether it's plausible or not. Mm -hmm. This advice is not fitting very good. It may be, the reason may be that you act on intuitions that are not, uh, that are conventional, that are just wrong, that are projections. Mm -hmm. They are only your internal view you put on the other person and the world. Also, there are very good, interesting intuitions of a possible future, but not enough elaborated. Mm. They, they are fruitful, but immature intuitions. Mm. And these are many reasons to reflect on intuitions as part of the communication process and as part of the creating of reality uh, and reacting on reality. And this is why intuition is very important in our training groups to be in, focused on. Hmm. I have also heard about people saying he is very impulsive or she is impulsive. So how do you di differentiate between someone being impulsive and intuitive. I would never exchange these two terms. Mm -hmm. Intuitive says something about how you create your understanding of the world. Mm -hmm. So that's a question of creating reality. Mm -hmm. And Impulsive for me is more a term how you you deal with energy and control of energy. Mm. And so they are they are independent categories. Mm. They cannot be translated into each other. I do not think 
a close connection between these two terms. It, it makes sense for me because maybe, maybe, maybe so, if some if somebody is not capable or not willing uh, to reflect intuitions, then the excuse is I am so impulsive. But that's <laughs> that's only an excuse. Mm, 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 mm. So if if we can ask, what is your judgment behind this? I'm imp impulsive. Can actually expand, but if that they are not willing to look at that judgment, then there's a loss. Right. 